Time to talk Bulldog hockey here after weekend split with first place Bowling Green. Joined now by head coach Bob Daniels and coach. Uh, uh, tough night Friday. Really nice response on Saturday for you guys, though. So. Sure was. Um, uh, Harrison, good to be here, by the way. But yeah, it was a tough night on Friday night. Um, we did not play well. We actually we did. I got I got to go back. We played real, real well in the first. I thought you know they came out with a two goal lead, but it was more the, the shots they had found the back than that. The chances we had, we couldn't cash in on. But I thought we played fine, and we were actually good in the second period till they scored their third goal, and and then from that point on, I didn't think. You know, it wasn't much of a uh, second period. They were up 6 nothing. So by the time you get to the third, I mean, you know, I give the guys credit. They're still working, but, you know, the game was over by that point. Um, and I was really disappointed in our response after they scored the third goal. Up till then, I thought it was a pretty even hockey game. I thought we could have had the lead. Um, you know, their goaltender was really playing well. And, and uh, you know, they, they just seemed to be able to finish their chances where we didn't. But we weren't playing poorly. But it was after they scored the third goal from that point on through the end of the second period. I didn't, didn't care for our response to it. I didn't care. We had, like, very minimal pushback. But, you know, the only thing that stopped the onslaught was the end of the second period. That was it. And then we were able to regroup uh, and go out and, and, you know, save a little bit of face in the third period. But by then, the game's over. So we take a look back at the highlights here this weekend and start to look at the tape from both nights. Uh, we'll start with Friday. And, and like you said, this is a game where um, – you know, early in the game, it really felt like you guys, uh, you know, were, were carrying the pace of play. You had the first good chance of the game. Um, and it, like you said, it just turned out that Bowling Green got the first two pucks to go in, and, and it, it really was a little bit deflating at that point. Yeah, well, we hit two pipes um, early on. We hit two pipes, and it could have been, all of a sudden, we could have been up 2 nothing to start the game. And that's, a, it, you know, the whole game takes on a different a different. Uh, uh, style at, if you're playing from the lead but when you're trying to chase the game all night it just doesn't work um, you know you could see their first goal was on a breakaway you certainly couldn't blame Logan Stein on that I will say this uh, the Bowling Green goaltender looked really comfortable the whole like when we had our chances in that first period I thought to myself I mean, you can just tell what a goal he's on and he was on that night even here I mean we, we had some really good looks Still, and then all of a sudden they go up three nothing. We did have a blown uh, defense's own coverage there, um, and I I find it hard to believe we could find a highlight of ours in the second period of show, um, you know, because from this point on it was all them. Yeah, and they're a good team. They're a fast, aggressive team. Uh, what was it? Made? Was there a point other than that goal that maybe they started to take the game over? Was it really specifically that third goal where? This is ours at this point for Bowling Green. Well, I felt it was that third goal. I mean, I mean, then all of a sudden they, they get the next three in like four minutes span, and that's what really did it. So it, yeah, no, I I, I did. I felt all along that uh, that third goal was the the most critical goal of the game. And uh, had we got the next goal to make it uh, two to one, that that would have been a big difference. One of the bright spots in this game, though, Noah Giesberg comes in. He goes ten for ten in relief. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys were better defensively in front of him. And it started out a weekend in which, as we take a look at Saturday's highlights, he would become CCHA Goalie of the Week after a really, really strong effort on Saturday. He played very well on Saturday. He played well coming in. I don't know, you know, when he came in from that point forward, I think they, they, they had minimal shots. And sometimes you do that. You, you change goalies out for no other reason than to try to, try to you, you know, it's a little bit of a slap at the guys that are still playing and that, hey, we better play for this guy here. And, and not that they weren't playing for Logan, they were. But, uh, uh, you know, you just want to change it up. And, and I thought Noah came in, settled things down, and the guy started playing better in front of him. Now, this is the second eight. Obviously, it's the complete opposite here. We, you know, we jump out to the lead, build on that lead. I get, once again, um, on our, here's our first goal of the night. Hits the goalie's glove, goes up, goes in. But that's our first goal on the weekend, and we needed that. Now we've got the lead, and they're chasing us, and it, it just – but it's a whole different feeling on the bench in the locker room when you when you score first and you have that lead. Um, but you know we'll we'll take a two nothing lead to the second, and then when we add the third goal uh, early in the third period, that you could see their bench was you know it's that third goal when you fall behind by three that you know it's it's tough to come back from, and they knew that. Here's our second goal, just great battle in front, turn. Caden Galt's very first collegiate goal, but certainly going to be far from his last. He can shoot the puck. He's going to be a very good player for us. 
This is when uh, Noah Giefrecht starts to put on a clinic. Uh, he's going to make a breakaway save at the end of the period, two breakaway saves at the end of the period. Yeah, right here is a, a heck of a save. A good by 21 for uh, Jason Branch. Oh, great back check on that. Put the heat. He couldn't come back to the forehand. Noah read it and made sure he stayed, uh, stayed in place. Shortly here, you're gonna. This is a really nice move by Blake Avenue to get around, and I don't know if he was trying to shoot this puck, but it ends up in the back of the net. Yeah, it does, and, and I think you know it was basically kind of like a changeup, uh, you know, and I think that that screwed the goaltender up more than anything. He he didn't get all of it. So here, you know, late in the the game, uh, they got their goalie pulled. They do get a deflection and a goal, uh, you know, three one. But then here you're gonna see uh, Antonio Venuto score the empty net goal for us. To, Pretty much put the game well. It really did put the game away, and, uh, and it was good. It was great bounce back win for us. When you get beat like that at home ice, you want to turn around. You want to so, show pride, uh, and we want to you know make sure we put our best foot forward. And I, I give the leadership of the team a lot of credit for making sure that uh, we shook. You know, it's good to have a short term memory you know, a lot of times, particularly if you're a player. And it's good that they were able to shake off the tough loss and come back with some pride and and get the win on Saturday night. Yep. Going back to Saturday a little bit, I have a really tough time believing there are too many teams in the country that are going to beat you if your guys are playing as hard as they did on Saturday because it, they came out and it was, they it really felt like this is our game. It's not going to slip away from us at any point. Yeah, they played really well. They did. They came. They competed. They battled. They, they you know, they have a lot of pride. And no one was happy about the outcome on Friday night. So uh, I would have been very disappointed if we didn't come out with that kind of fire. Because um, it's a great group of guys, and you know what? When you play 34 games in the regular season, you're bound to have a stinker, and hopefully that's one and done in terms of stinkers. Because you know, uh, up to this point of the season, I think that was our 11th game. We we had you know we'd gotten beaten, but we didn't have bad games, and that was a bad one. And there always seems to be one during the course of the year, maybe two, uh, and that just happened to be our night. Most importantly, uh, that's the last game that you'll have uh, in your memory before you go on the road to take on Minnesota State. I'm sure that's a little bit of a benefit with the off week of having fresh in your mind the effort it takes to beat a good team. Yeah, because um, we are, Bowling Green was a very good team, and uh, Minnesota State, needs to say, is a very good team. And uh, we feel like we've got the group to compete with them and, and, and come away with, uh, with a win or two. Um, but, you know, it's going to take good goaltending everybody out. We're going to have to play inspired hockey like we did on Saturday night. Well, Coach, thanks uh, for joining us here on the Ferris Sports Update, and uh, congratulations on the win over first place Bowling Green this past week. Great, thanks. Appreciate it, Harrison. I'll wrap it up for Bulldog Hockey. We'll bring it back and finish up the Ferris Sports Update with Ferris State Volleyball next.